What's up, poker players? Hope you guys are out there stacking some chips. Today, we're going to take a look at the cash games that I've got in over the last couple days. I've done meh, okay on the tournaments, a couple good caches, probably up a couple bucks, but I've done pretty well on the cash games on the side. So let's get into some big hands from there. Lots of big pots with pocket kings. First hand we're looking at is this one. That was from this morning, 1.14 in the morning. Probably just finishing up the tournaments. We have pocket kings in the small blind. Under the gun plus one open raises to 3x. Pretty fishy player there. We get a call from the hijack seat. Another pretty fishy player. We only have 30 hands on this player and 28 on this player. They're probably both recreational players. And we get three bets from the big blind. Didn't even realize realize how short stacked the hijack player was he makes a call commits his whole stack with five deuce we don't know that yet but I think we can get get it all in here against the big blind who has already shown that he's pretty pot committed with the four bet he hasn't folded to a four bet yet so I'm assuming he probably won't fold to four to a five bet either so I do jam all in and he makes the call with ace king he does have outs to the ace we flop a king on the flop that is awesome no queen Miss the river, pick up a $212 pot right there. That is good for the bankroll. Another pocket kings at the 100 NL table. We are in the small blind again. We were in the small blind last time. I think so. In the small blind, get an open raise from the cutoff to 3x. I three bet from the small blind to $11 and he makes a call. Ooh, gotta love that flop. King high flop. We hit the top set. That's my favorite set. Lead out to $13. Pretty draw heavy board i like that lead out we're going to build a pot since we did three bet we are going to continuation bet a lot of the time no matter what the board is so i think that player knows this we can kind of conceal our hand as well as build a pot here when we do lead out he just makes a call turn does not really help any hands out there there's now 49 dollars in the pot bet half pot on the turn he makes a call again there's now 99 in the pot the only hand that got there is ace queen i doubt queen nine would would be in this player's range so I think we can get value from a lot of the cards that this player would be playing besides ace queen so I'm going to put him all in and he does make the call we both have sets and we pick up a hundred and ninety eight dollar pot on that one once again we have pocket kings this time we're at the 50 NL table get an open raise from under the gun plus two I three bet and we get a call on the big blind the open raiser folds Flop is queen high, monotone, 1325 in the pot. I lead out for 650, half pot, and we get a min raise by the player to my left. And I see that this player has very high aggression, and he has not won a single pot that he's played in where he three bet the flop. Doesn't show down all that great either. So I do make the call. The only hands we're really going to be worried about here are pocket nines and pocket fours. I think this player probably would have four bet pocket queens pre flop, and I don't see a lot of pocket fours calling my three bet pre-flop only pocket nines really maybe pocket queens would call through a three bet pre-flop so this player's range is pretty limited at this point we are beyond committed so i just check back and hopefully we can get value from the hands that this player would be bluffing with the check back and i make the call see that we're up against ace king we only have to miss an ace on the river and we do pick up a 100 dollar pot right there thank you now we're at the 50 nl table we have ace king in the cutoff under the gun raises to 9x you heard me right 9x this guy has some crazy bet tendencies he bets very big but he has pretty large fold numbers to a three bet and I'm going to be three betting here with ace king I make it a little bit less than 3x and he jams all in it's a little bit more than $30 for me to call here we're getting about two to one on our money even if this player has kings we're still about even money on a call here so the only hand we're truly worried about is pocket aces we have one of those in our hand so that limits his hands a little bit I do make the call wind up seeing it is a coin flip queen Queens against ace king we wind up hitting a king on the flop and an ace on the river we have the nut flush draw going into the river as well 
He needed to hit his queen. He winds up missing. And we pick up a big pot of $88 with the ace king. Another big hand with ace king. This time under the gun. 50 NL table again. We open raise to 3x. We get called by under the gun plus 2. As well as the button. We see a flop of monotone clubs. Queen high. Not that great of a flop for us. The player to our left bets a third of the pot on the flop. And I just make a call here with two over cards. We wind up hitting a jack on the turn. Gives us the straight, the Broadway straight. Check back. And he jams all in right here. That jam is not what I would have done. I see this player's number. Numbers incredibly aggressive. Doesn't show down well. There is a chance he has the flush. But if, if you have a flush, don't you think you would try to get as much value out of it as possible by slowly extracting money from my stack instead of just jamming it all in it looks like a bluff but i think this player thinks he has value with the two pair against this type of player i don't think i'm gonna be folding here i'm just hoping he doesn't have a low flush or a flush draw which is very possible i do make the call and i see that he had the jack 10 he had outs to a jack or a 10 on the river he misses them we wind up picking up a 55 dollar pot on that one with the broadway straight thank you sir for jamming all of your chips in the pot now we have pocket aces under the gun 50 nl table again open raise to 3x we get a call from the hijack seat from the cutoff and three of us see the flop Flop is queen high, two tone, two diamonds on the board. We have the backdoor flush draw as well as the aces. I lead out for two thirds of the pot and we get jammed. This is again a very loose, aggressive player. It's about 20 bucks for us to call in a pot of 32.50. If he has an incredibly strong hand here, I think he would try to extract chips again. Same as pretty much the last hand. I think this is a pretty easy call with the aces against this type of player. And I do make the call, see that we're up against king queen need to miss the kings and the queens and we do and pick up a pot of fifty dollars and fifty two cents on that hand check out this hand in this tournament we'll cut in quick slow play now there's a low draw out there we've got one of the blockers with the ace still slow playing hopefully this got continuations he does no more slow play i think that's a good bet size right there 23 20 we get a call the low misses the only hand that beats us is quad fives all in and he folds pick up a pot right there let's get some deep runs and now we're at a 50 and out table we have pocket kings under the gun get a call from the hijack seat two of us see the flop wind up flopping middle set very draw heavy board i lead out for two thirds and he makes a call the turn is our money card that is quad kings i bet again 550 and he makes a call I feel bad for whatever ace hand you have right now or if you're chasing down that flush. At this point, I hope you have the ace. I really hope you flop the Broadway straight. 1951 in the pot. I bet 1450 and he does not make a fold there. We get a $46 pot with the Quad Kings. If you guys have not hit that subscribe button, make sure you do that now. Head down to the video description for links to all the poker products that I use, including Hold'em Manager and America's Card Room, where I do all of my poker playing. Follow me on Twitter and on Facebook. I'm going to start posting to those more often. Give the video a thumbs up if you like it. I'm going to head back out to the tournaments, and I'll see you guys with a new video very soon. But until then, come and find me out on the virtual felt.